the pro net zero Oxfordshire Council who've been preparing for 15 minute cities and all the other net zero schemes are now being exposed as a bunch of liars. Okay, let's talk about Oxfordshire. We've been talking about these guys uh, sometime now on the channel. Uh, they're going to be doing a trial for 15 minute cities uh, in case you haven't actually been following all, all this stuff. It's basically they're going to turn certain towns and cities into Hunger Games style districts where you have to be in your own district. It's not really physical barriers yet. It's simply about if you drive through uh, other neighborhoods, you receive a fine. And this is where hypocrisy comes in. Okay, so a couple of things we're going to talk about in this video. One is about the leader of the council and also <laughs> and also the messaging, the narrative. So the 15-minute city plans are causing controversy. Some people are not happy about this. Well, the majority of people are not happy about this. They've been protesting, saying stop zoning Oxford and stop turning us into essentially lab rats being in our boxes and districts. Now, Liz uh, Lefman. Uh, who is uh, the leader of the council, liberal democrat and leader of the council. She um, she has a top job and these people, Lib Dems, are very much pro net zero. But we actually found out, I did some digging, Liz Lefman is a bit of a hypocrite because only a few years ago she posted this video defending cars. She's now anti-cars, she wants to remove cars from the planet, but only recently she made this video defending car manufacturers. We cannot allow the government simply to walk out of Europe without having our say. We cannot allow that because we can't allow jobs in this area to be affected in industries such as, for example, the car industry, which is so big in Oxfordshire. Oh, so you care about car manufacturing. Oh, is it because you were focusing on uh, the European Union and Brexit? Was that just because it was uh, useful for you to pretend to care about them just so you could reverse Brexit. These people don't care about any of these causes. It's simply about timing and different circumstances. They just shift with the wind, <laughs> just completely change their mind on every single issue. They're just complete leftists. Now, this is just uh, obviously Liz, who's a bit of a hypocrite. Now, in regards to oh, traffic filters, so they're also doing traffic filters um, and... <laughs> to control people, control the public. This is all about, obviously, crowd control, obviously, in regards to, in the name of um, the environment, in the name of traffic, in the name of clean air. And it's all about changing people's behaviors. There was a problem because people have been um, opposing this and protesting, saying, using a metaphor, saying, this is essentially you're keeping us in our boxes. Now, they decided to make a very, very dystopian 1984 style video to defend their position, the Oxfordshire Council. I'm going to show you the video. But they, they thought if they just uh, deny that we're not actually building a wall, they basically called everybody else conspiracy theorists. And then they actually reveal the plans, which is basically what people have been talking about anyway. So <laughs> they made this video. This is the most idiotic thing ever. These conspiracy theories are causing harm. Let's watch this, the first clip together. These conspiracy theories are causing real world harm and need to stop. We have been receiving many calls and emails from worried residents in genuine fear that they might be locked in their own homes. This is categorically untrue and we're talking to you today to explain the truth. To reassure residents and set the record straight, we want to be absolutely clear. We are not planning a climate lockdown or a lockdown of any kind. Okay, so the denial <laughs> is all about loopholes, it's all about technicalities. We're not planning climate lockdowns. Yeah, because that was just the blueprint for the future. So you're not planning it yet. So yeah, technically it's all the truth. But <laughs> that's one thing. Secondly, she said, everything else is also a theory, just tinfoil hats. We're not doing anything. We're not controlling you. Um, her colleague standing right next to her said this. The traffic filters will be installed as a trial on six roads in Oxford in 2024. They will not be physical barriers. They're not steel walls or electronic gates. They're simply traffic cameras that can read number plates. 
If a vehicle passes through, the camera will read the number plate and, if you do not have an exemption or a residence permit, you will receive a fine in the post. <laughs> so they thought they could get away with this loophole saying, well, that is not really a wall, but if you don't have an exemption to enter that area, you will receive a fine. And if you don't pay your fine, it will be like that mother, Carly, that we made a video about this earlier on the channel. Make sure to check it out. Who simply was visiting her son in a hospital and she received all these net zero fines and it's now reached over a thousand pounds. And now the council in Birmingham are threatening to take her car away from her for simply uh, receiving all these fines. So what is the difference between a physical barrier and completely stopping and restricting people's lives? Um, and you're going to take away their cars, their homes and everything else. Really? This is not really good behavior. It's obviously down to uh, the local residents in Oxfordshire to vote out these idiots. That's the best thing to do. I know that some people are completely uh, feeling defeatist and, uh, and pessimistic saying, well, the whole system is against us now because... Um, this narrative is now controlled by people, all the big money lobby and everything else, the green lobby, and it doesn't really matter who we vote in, who we vote out, they're all the same. Technically, yes, but actually there's still people out there, good people out there who care. If you care, stand for elections and sort it out. Um, and I know people could say the same about me and to me, but, um, but we, have to, we all have our, our roles in this fight and we all have to contribute to the fight if you want to protect our freedoms in Britain any freedom that we have a little bit of it left but let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching i'm maya tusi and we are the media